Yes, she did. And just to put it in perspective, today's numbers show 129 people have died in Oklahoma's long-term care facilities. Almost half the state's total, 22% of all cases are in those facilities. It's a reason the state plans on testing all 42,000 residents and staff over the next few weeks, as well as providing them with all the PPE and help they need. Good news to Dina Daniels, whose world was turned upside down when she lost her sister Vicky to COVID-19 last month, now left to care for her eight-year-old niece, Matea. And I said, baby, mom is not coming home this time. And I just started crying. And her crying was, I didn't get to say goodbye to mommy. No, no, I can't. I want my mommy. I want my mom. When Vicki came down with coronavirus, her family says she was staying at an Oklahoma City long-term care facility due to health problems keeping her in and out of the hospital. Now my sister's been sick for a long time. Despite 75 cases and four deaths within the facility, she isn't blaming staff. They are gracious people. They were very kind to us. And is glad to hear testing is ramping up and hopes these numbers decline, sparing others this kind of pain. So real. It is very real. Governor Stitt says the state is also working to provide these facilities with the financial help they're asking for. Live at the Capitol, Portia Riley, KOCO 5 News.